Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to yet another cooking video. I hope you guys aren't getting sick of them yet because I'm having fun doing them and sharing all the good stuff we love to eat with you guys. Today, we are actually gonna make a dessert and guess what? It is keto and low carb. Yes, indeed. Now, to be quite honest, I have not made this recipe yet but I have made a version of it and it was so good. So I'm sure this one is going to be too. We're gonna to be making a chocolate peanut butter cheesecake mousse. Oh my gosh, chocolate and peanut butter. How could it not be good, right? So let's get to it and look at what ingredients we're gonna need. Four ounces of full fat cream cheese cubed, three and a half tablespoons low carb swerve confectioner sweetener, one tablespoon cocoa powder. I'm using a keto cacao powder, three tablespoons smooth peanut butter. Use a no sugar added brand, two thirds cup heavy whipping cream. One handy husband with camera skills. <laughs> <laughs> now we know what ingredients we're gonna need. Let's get started into making this delicious dessert. Hopefully it's delicious. I'm sure it will be though. So the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna start with our cream cheese and our sweetener. Now the recipe calls to use a hand mixer or a stand mixer. I have neither one of those in the truck, but I do have my little immersion blender that has this whisk attachment. So that is what I'm going to use as a mixer. I've had my cream cheese sitting out for a little bit so it would soften to make this easier to mix with my or to blend with my whisk so we're gonna take our cream cheese we're gonna put it in a bowl now what I'm gonna do before I add my sweetener I'm just gonna take a spoon and kind of smooth it out a little bit so it's not as difficult for the whisk blender or the whatever that's called hand mixer that I have to be able to blend this with the sweetener. I've got that kind of mashed out a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my sweetener and I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in with the cream cheese. And we are gonna take our mixer or blender, hand mixer, whatever you have, and we're gonna blend this together for one minute. This could get really messy with this hand mixer. I have had powder or sugars fly out before, so be very careful when you're doing it. My mixer has two settings. I'm gonna start with the lowest setting and just kind of pulse it to get it started. <laughs> So we've got our cream cheese and our sweetener blended together. Now we're going to add our cocoa powder and our peanut butter. Now that we've added those, we're going to mix it again with our hand mixer until those are nice and blended and all incorporated into our cream cheese mixture. As you're mixing this, make sure to take a spatula and scrape down the sides so that that can get all mixed in as well. So we've got all of our ingredients mixed and well incorporated. The last step we need to do is add our heavy whipping cream. Now to do this, we're going to slowly add this as we have our hand mixer going in our cream cheese mixture. We're gonna continue to mix it until it looks creamy and like kind of like a whipped frosting. I've enlisted my handy assistant here to help <laughs> me hold the bowl as I do this. So again, we're just gonna slowly add our heavy whipping cream as we're mixing. I have all of our ingredients well combined. Look at that goodness in there. Mm, Looks pretty good. It, uh, it smells good too. I can it smell the smell peanut good. butter. The last step to this is we are going to stick this in the fridge for about 15 minutes to chill. This recipe makes four servings. You could divide this into four little containers and stick it in the fridge. I'm just gonna stick the whole bowl in the fridge since I know it's four servings. When I serve us, I'll know how much to give us. Let's stick this in the fridge. We'll see you back here in about 15 minutes for a taste test. Oh no, I'm eating that whole thing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so it has been about 20 minutes and our mousse has chilled and it's finally ready for a taste test. Now, I will say Jason has already tried it. What'd you think? It was pretty good. All right, let me be the judge because I love chocolate and peanut butter. So let's give it a shot. It's not a real strong, overpowering mm, taste. Oh my gosh, that was so good. 
It tastes like a peanut butter cup. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You definitely taste the peanut butter. Yes. But it's not overpowering. It's so good and it's not super sweet. I was afraid it might be too much sweetener, but it's not super sweet. It's really, really good, you guys. I knew it would be though. I mean, like I said, you cannot go wrong with chocolate, peanut butter, cream cheese. I mean, come on now. It looks like poop in a bowl. It does. <laughs> but it's very good and tasty. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed us making a little keto dessert tonight. As always, I'm gonna leave the recipe I used linked down below. If you try this, come back and let me know how you like it. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next cooking video. Peace, love, and expediting. <laughs> I am the producer. I will fire you. Don't barrage the talent. <laughs>